The Microflex Wireless System provides a great sounding, simple to use wireless microphone solution for conference rooms and meeting environments. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the various components that comprise the Microflex Wireless System, while providing some basic guidance for configuring a system. Unlike other installed wireless microphone systems, all frequency management is handled automatically. MXW operates in the 1.9 GHz or DECT band, free from concerns over DTV interference, white space devices, or future UHF spectrum reallocation. A complete system consists of the wireless microphones themselves, a multi-channel access point transceiver, a networked charging station, and an audio network interface. The system is scalable in two, four, or eight channel groupings up to a maximum of 40 microphones in a single space, region dependent. For every additional group of microphones, simply add another access point, charger, and network interface. All MXW components connect using readily available shielded CAT5e or CAT6 cable, which carry both control and Dante digital audio. The system can easily coexist on a corporate data network or run entirely standalone. Within the MXW series, there are four microphone choices, handheld, gooseneck, boundary, and body pack. All microphone transceivers utilize Shure's robust lithium ion rechargeable battery, which provides up to eight hours of continuous runtime and is field replaceable. Gooseneck, boundary, and body pack transceivers also have a headphone jack for monitoring return audio from the access point. The MXW6 boundary microphone features a programmable mute switch with bicolor status LED and is available with either cardioid or omnidirectional polar patterns. The MXW8 gooseneck transceiver base shares the switch and LED configuration of the MXW6 and is compatible with the MX405, 410, or 415 LP gooseneck microphones. The MXW2 handheld microphone options include the SM58 or Beta58 dynamic microphones or the SM86 or VP68 condenser microphones. Lastly, the MXW1 body pack transceiver features a built-in omnidirectional microphone and a TA4M connector that is compatible with Shure lavalier and head-worn microphones. Plugging in a microphone automatically switches to the external mic. The MXW access point transceiver functions as both the antenna and multi-channel receiver. A single access point can support two, four, or eight microphones, depending on which model is specified. One or two channels of return audio are transmitted back to the microphones as well, hence the transceiver designation. A single Ethernet cable is the only connection to the access point. The device requires power over Ethernet in order to operate. A mounting bracket and paintable cover are included. An embedded, browser-based user interface is provided for system setup and monitoring. The access point is compatible with command strings sent over IP for integration with room control systems. The network charging station provides the dual purpose of charging the microphones when not in use and linking the microphones into the system as part of the configuration process. For this reason, the charging stations are not optional. Just like the access point, there are two, four, and eight channel variants. When specifying a system, there must be one charge slot for every microphone. Note that gooseneck microphones occupy two charge slots. So a system with four gooseneck microphones actually requires an eight-channel charger. Eight gooseneck microphones require two eight-channel chargers, and so on. A networked connection is required for the charging station, and it is highly recommended that this connection be permanent for optimum system performance. The Audio Network Interface, or ANI, serves as a Dante off-ramp, converting networked digital audio back to individual mic, aux, or line-level analog outputs. Audio inputs are included for routing external signals to the headphone jacks on the microphone transceivers. A front panel headphone jack is provided for monitoring or troubleshooting audio problems. The ANI is available in four or eight channel configurations. The rear panel of the network interface features a four-port network switch, allowing small systems to operate without the need for any external network hardware. Port 1 provides power over Ethernet for the access point. Port 4 can be configured in uplink mode, which blocks device and Dante discovery. 
This is recommended for connection to corporate networks. The audio network interface is just one of many options for routing Dante audio channels from Microflex Wireless. For example, the Shure SCM820-DAN delivers automatic mixing on its eight Dante inputs and can be used in place of the Annie to deliver a single mixed output for eight MXW microphones. Additionally, there are over 200 brands of Dante-enabled devices for use with the Microflex wireless access point. Simply select the one that best meets your client's signal processing and connectivity requirements and utilize the Dante controller application available from the Audinate website to route the channels. Remember that you will need a managed gigabit switch with power over ethernet for the access point when connecting to other Dante devices. All MXW components support both automatic and static IP addressing. Since the devices do not have displays or external controls for IP address configuration, setup is done using the embedded graphical user interface. Use the Sure Web Device Discovery application to find Sure devices and view their IP addresses. Note that the charging stations do not have a user interface. Double click on the access point or Annie to open the device. No other software is required for Microflex Wireless. The following videos in this series will walk you through everything you need to know to install a Microflex wireless system, including mounting and placing access points, setting static IP addresses, and creating configurations.